Well, hello guys, it is TMH here, back again with another episode of Minecraft on, yep, the Cherry Vanilla server. <laughs> it has been an absolute age uh, since I've recorded a Minecraft video, uh, and let me tell you, it's a lot easier to record on the PC than it is hooking up a PlayStation 4, <laughs> doing all that, but um, man, yeah, it's been a long time, and I mean, I know I did say I probably wouldn't have very many videos um, for Minecraft anyway, uh, just just out of sheer lack of inspiration. Uh, but I'm going to do a few things every now and then. I have some plans uh, for just the, the sort of communal area. This is why I'm, I'm flying. This is proper staff stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought I would maybe go over some of the builds really quickly. I've sort of helped uh, button up on the server. Uh, when I, since I've started playing and yeah I've got plans today though to sort of completely not automate but uh, auto harvest and auto break uh, all of the crops and things in the sort of communal farm area um, but yeah it, it, it feels good to be recording again to be honest uh, especially Minecraft uh, because it is so easy hold on who's this uh, Who's this cheeky chappy? Oh yeah, <laughs> still kicking about. Good, good. I kind of miss that little guy. Um, so yeah, pretty self-explanatory stuff. Uh, this is the Cherry Vanilla server. It's the new server that was renewed in January. So yeah, all still kind of new for me. I am still trying to get used to it, to be honest. Made a little shop. Uh, I sell heads and spawners. If the shop didn't give that away. <laughs> um, so yeah, pretty pretty simple stuff. Tried to start making some money. I'm on with 268 at the moment, so pretty, pretty good. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the server. I mean, nothing's really any different, but uh, this is a pretty, uh, pretty dire affair here. Um, I think between the lot of us for inactivity, we've probably got about 10 years worth of uh, inactivity <laughs> uh, from the server, but I'm trying, and a few other people are, are trying to get back on and into it, because, you know, Minecraft is one of those things that it takes a while uh, if you've kind of lost your uh, sort of inspiration for the builds. Um, but I've been trying, uh, when I've been on recently, it's been staff stuff, so I've been sort of neatening up the uh, spawn area in general, uh, trying to help sort out the uh, plots and things for shops and trying to mob proof the area a little bit better. This uh, this is my little house over here, let me so quickly show you, it's the most unimpressive starter house possibly ever. <laughs> uh, couple of farms hidden in the trees just to, to keep it all kind of compact. Uh, and yeah, that's the little starter house. It does go down uh, into a little farm below, and up there's a, a chest room. So nothing, nothing spectacular. I uh, have a few places set as homes, though. That as I was starting on the server, I had a look at and thought bit of bit of a possibility there. So maybe, yeah, maybe we'll we'll move there at some point. But. Um, he has no idea there is a gaping hole <laughs> below all of these. <laughs> um, but yeah, two pretty cool builds that I helped uh, modify and <laughs> perfect is probably a strong word, but yeah, kind of made better. Oh dear. <laughs> that, ex <laughs> that explains where lag is coming from. There we go, That's that seems better already. Um, yeah, so they had a skeleton farm and uh, I added a... I need to save something. Uh, added a little timer here to make them a one hit kill. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 uh, comparators. Uh, I don't know if it's the 16 comparators or it's this weird setup I've got because they already had a couple of switches for 
sort of a blocker block up there. Uh, and then I added this switch to drop them into lava. So when people weren't playing, they would be auto killing. Uh, so I, this was kind of a tight squeeze to add the, the crusher in, but it's a really accurate. Uh, That noise, that is terrible. But, uh, I mean, it's really good. <laughs> this is how little I've been playing. I'm impressed with a, a one hit kill <laughs> skeleton spawner. <laughs> um, but yeah, the other one was, which I thought was a pretty cool addition. Here's me thinking, like, I'm, I'm reinventing Minecraft <laughs> with my, uh, like, two year out of date contraptions. Um, although the water was running when we started, uh, I've added a potato farm and below here it splits off into two. One of them goes to just a regular chest in here, but the other goes to... It's a bit annoying to get into, but the other goes down into an auto smelter uh, and fills up a chest full of baked potatoes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, another wonderful addition from TMH. I'm sure they've really been needing that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, this is this is me still trying to get into it, I suppose. And hold on, what is something's gone wrong here? What has gone wrong? I think I'm missing a. <laughs> Confused already. Um, but yeah, those are two things I added. I mean, it's a simple piston system that uh, this part was already existing. Um, I just thought I'd add a half auto smelter and half collector. Make it kind of easier if people are just after food rather than then needing to go off and cook it. But anyway, anyway, we're going away from where we want to go here. Um, so yeah, this is the communal farm and... I've been planning now for a while <laughs> and collected up the stuff we need uh, to auto harvest everything with the push of a button somewhere near the entrance so uh, a piston will push up all of the pumpkins and melons and stuff and I found a really cool design which I'll quickly go over over there that uh, you can stack sort of multiple layers of pistons which I thought wasn't very possible um, but yeah we can and we're gonna do that today it's all hollowed out already so there's no issues there uh, and I've kinda laid a few of the pieces already um, and the redstone stuff just so I can chuck in the pistons really quickly um, and Peters and stuff <laughs> yeah this is <laughs> The, all the extra work I've been doing. Um, but they all go to different areas, so uh, we'll quickly go over the piston design. Oh, I'm so used to flying, because it's. I feel like because it's a staff thing that's helping the server, I can kind of fly around. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the system. It looks ridiculous. Oh, um, it definitely looks ridiculous, but this is just completely stackable. It, however long you want it, and I mean, because it keeps flaring out, you could have any width of pistons. I know it goes pretty deep down, but it's a really good system for what I have in mind for the farms. Okay, so let's start grabbing stuff here that we need. Uh, <laughs> so out of touch with uh, what we're actually needing here. I don't have any redstone. I'll need to find redstone. Um, how easy will this be? Not easy. Not easy at all. Oh. Um, I could probably do this bit off camera because I have a feeling I'm about to go ban somebody <laughs> for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the basic plan is to have the pistons along here and then a row of two seconds <laughs> get to go to spawn <laughs> um, I've completely lost my train of thought there uh, yeah so the pistons will, will be here uh, 
line repeaters and the redstone line should be able to run right along. I probably have to do a sort of boosting, uh, a signal boost every now and then for, for boosting the signal, but I'll do all that off camera. Um, one of the cool parts, I need to be really careful about where I dig up here because there's water hidden about. <laughs> um, need a button. One of the cool parts is that uh, I managed to get a good enough pulse that it just drops down a single layer of water um, to break all of the cocoa beans. Yeah, there's a button. And all that was, was whatever you call this setup. <laughs> I don't know the names of these things. Uh, with two repeaters on a two tick pulse. And that just creates a perfect um, perfect uh, how do we get out of here? <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, perfect timing for Ah, oh my goodness, this is so unprofessional. Uh, a line of water. So that works out really well. Um, otherwise water would be spreading all over the place or I had looked at pistons lowering down this dirt at one point, but that's a, a really, really good timing there. <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> um, okay, so the other part is down here. And this is under, I hauled out all of these ones. Um, and this is this basic system for harvesting everything at once. So it's as simple as that and pretty sure somewhere, yeah, somewhere about here is this line. So I'll probably just break off from this line uh, and run that across as well. So what I think I will do really quickly is lay all of the pistons that need to be laid, uh, get some redstone, lay some of that and when I come back we'll be ready to more or less hook everything up and test things out. Uh, see what we're what we're up against because there's there's going to be some flaws somewhere that I <laughs> cannot remember how to find <laughs> and it'll take me a while to find them but yeah I will be right back and have everything set up. Okay guys, that was a <laughs> lot of montages there, <laughs> um, but I, I think it's all working correctly. Um, I did a couple of tests that you probably saw there, 
Um, but the basic idea is, if we run through it one last time, we'll hit this button. Uh, that goes through this signal, which isn't connected yet. Um, let's just connect it. Then it's, then it's done. Uh, repeaters. Of course. <laughs> I think that was the only thing I packed away out of my entire inventory. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, it kind of spirals round, so uh, the outer ring goes first and then these three blocks of pistons go. So, um, we've got the pumpkin pistons here. Uh, this little pulse sort of setup that leads to the uh, cocoa beans. Long row of melon pistons. I had to extend the signal here and what I did there was extended the signal here with a repeater and then kind of did a <laughs> there's no there's no easy way of getting there but the the signal goes through this block and then loops back round into this piston and um, just to power that piston as well uh, then we carry on round this is the sugar cane set of pistons and then yeah this is where I had to start inverting signals because the nether wart's too deep. Uh, this splits off the redstone signal there and finally the signal ends up in these three uh, rooms with the different set of pistons for each one there. So I think to finish this off <laughs> after all that um, what I think I'll do is plant everything uh, let TMH cam just roll. Uh, I'll plant everything, let it all grow, and then, yeah, we'll hit the button and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's worked at that point. First off, we'll seal it up though, because uh, then that is job done. Uh, yeah, just like to light, light it up a little bit, just to make sure we can reduce the lag as much as possible. Uh, and then, oh, I'm out of, oh, there it goes. Ah! <laughs> need to clean up this, these chests as well. I'll probably do that while the TMH cam's recording. But that is it. Uh, everything's despawned <laughs> that was here before, so hopefully there's enough in the sort of goodwill chests. Yeah, I think, I think we should be okay there. Um, but I'll replant everything and we will be right back. Well guys, the time has come to say goodbye. <laughs> um, yeah, let everything grow for a while and then got totally bored, so bone mealed up the place. Uh, and everything's ready to harvest pretty much. Um, I also added a, a cactus farm right at the end here, so I, I cut down the melon farm. Whoa. What is shoot? Oh. <laughs> uh, ah. Yeah, cut down the melon farm and uh, added a cactus just a single cactus here. Um, I figured if this is the sort of starter farm, it's good for everyone to get at least you know one or two of each item before they head out. You know, so they can start growing it in the future. I mean, obviously things like melons and food, there's loads of, but cactus, seed, <laughs> not really going to use that straight off the bat. So uh, yeah, I put one over there just to to let them have it. So. Let's go for it. I'm uh, <laughs> pretty excited here. <laughs> uh, you know you haven't played for a while when you're getting excited over stuff like this. So I thought I would add a sign. Auto, I think uh, auto is maybe a bit strong. <laughs> but there you go. Press for auto harvest. Um, so everything's linked in. <laughs> Double tested, triple tested. Uh, and yeah, let's do this. Okay, three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> what?
huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. I can't remember taking that out. I must have... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I must have taken that out for something. Uh, right, okay, take two. Three, two, one. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> it uh, actually totally reminds me of the... Uh, Mass Harvester from the... Wow, that was from the co-op guy server. That was a long time ago. Apart from, these don't collect up for you. Nice and neat, but man, that was cool. <laughs> and you can actually see um, the sort of circular pattern coming round. <laughs> That's so cool. Really chuffed with this setup with the uh, uh, yeah comparators and repeater setup. That's so cool. <laughs> Huge waste of resources though. I mean, the amount of redstone that is gone now is unbelievable. But I mean, I had brought a lot over from the old server, so you know it was just collecting dust. <laughs> I to use that phrase a lot now. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is it. The sort of auto-harvest uh, for spawn is is done. Uh, so it's a lot easier now for people to just come along uh, if they're either new or even existing members. Give that a quick tap and yeah, they're good to go and just run around, collect everything. Replant, as always, because it's, uh, yeah, it's important that you replant and then just stock it back. <laughs> it's for future reference. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode and yeah, I will uh, definitely see you soon. Bye bye.